G'day everyone, we got Mark from Aussie Heads and Race Engines here again and look what we have here it's been about five weeks, been waiting on these puppies from the States got our um, pistons for our 396 these are our Auto, the Auto Tech um, a Forge piston they got a custom, they're fully custom made for our stroke and um, we've got a 38.4 cc dome on that that's including the valve relief and everything so that in turn with our extra stroke and here's our little puppy here our four inch stroke of crank it's um, a 4340 forging it's been um, gun barrel drilled through the big ends just to reduce weight um, also our H-beam conrods, same stuff, forging, 4340. They uh, run a full floating small end bush in it, so the, the piston is a full floating piston, less friction. Um, what else we got? We've, um, the timing set, what I've done on this one, it's, it runs a roller hydraulic. This is uh, instead of your brass shim, it's got it's a Turrington thrust bearing. It's a needle, there's tiny little needle rollers in, in that um, housing there, and that's your actual thrust bearing. Um, got our oil pump and that. I always, on all my engines, I use these hardened oil pump drive shafts, so I always put new oil puff, uh, pump drive shafts in all my engines. And um, we've got our bearings here, so what I'm up to here, while we're waiting on our um, pistons, I've given it a block just a D dag, just a just to take the rough casting off it. It's not fully polished, but yeah, just to take the rough stuff off it. It had big casting flash marks everywhere. I've blended it all back. Um, it had big dags here and there, so it's all been rounded off. So um, when it's all finished and painted, it'll look really nice. So I've done that. Done a bit of work around the front there. And uh, yeah, like I said, just in the valley. They have a lot of casting flush, real rough here, so take all them off. Just reduces them breaking loose later and going through your oil system and picking up bearings. So it's just giving it a home. So what we're going to do now is just we're going to dummy assemble all this up because this is a, a new configuration here. So we've gone uh, the four inch stroke, which is going to bring our 396 up to um, 434 cubic inches. And um, so we'll throw the crank in. We've got uh, main studs, we've got head studs for this thing. Um, we've got big, big sump coming for it. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll put the crank in, the block. We'll put our pistons on our rods. We won't worry about any rings or circlips, but we'll just dummy assemble it. And what we're going to achieve there is we'll wind it over and get every cylinder up at top dead center with a dial, of course and we'll measure how far the pistons are up from the top of the deck, your deck clearance. And once we get that figure, we can blow it all apart again and um, work out our compression ratio. Um, at the moment, the way it's sort of roughly working out with our extra stroke and the dome on the pistons, it's probably gonna push it up to around about 11, 11.2, but um, we'll nail that figure after we the dummy assembly, but I want about a 10 and a half, so. 11.2 I can take some out of the combustion chambers and um, bring them all back blueprinted perfectly to every cylinder. So um, that's basically it for now. Um, just wanted to show you all the, the new parts we got in. So, um, you know, we've got gaskets, everything. Um, it's got a full hydraulic roller camshaft in it. The heads are big, they've got um, heaps of work done to them. So. This thing um, is going to be pretty good when it's finished. So basically all we're doing is, like I said, throw all this stuff in, the, the rotating assembly, do our measurements, pull it all back apart, then we start machining to, to get our um, compression um, uh, happening. And uh, then we'll send all this stuff away for balancing. It, all your strokers stuff, always, mate, like when you're... Um, 
any any configuration you, you're putting in an engine, you really should balance any engine anyway. I balanced even little shitty four-cylinder ones because that's how I build engines. They just um, a lot more smoother, and I know what factory standards are like. So nothing like blueprint, I can tell you that. And that's why we blueprint. Anyway, we'll um, leave it there for now, and. Um, I'll get back to you with, I'll um, do a video with the, um, the dummy assemble and I'll just go through and show you how we measure our heights and, and that. And then we'll go for uh, compression ratios and I'll explain a bit about um, how and why we get compression ratios and how they work and which is the best for which application. Rightio, I'll catch you later.